Hello everyone and welcome to Wumpus Gaming here. Today we are jumping back into Baldur's Gate 3 with the next part of our grand adventure. Today we're gonna try to find all of our companions that we had aboard the Nau Nautiloid and our great and epic adventure. So over here we have Shadowheart. So let's see, what are our options? Wake her or reach for the artifact. Wumpus is very curious, but like, I don't know. That thing's pretty dangerous, maybe. Uh, Wumpus is curious. We're going to reach for the artifact. Well, you don't have to look so suspicious doing it. What are you doing? I'm alive, yes. Thank you for the concern. Yeah, we're just gonna... And speaking of, how are we alive? Yeah, that's a really good question. I was hoping you might know that. I remember the ship. I remember falling. Then nothing. Do you have any idea where we are yet? Yeah, that's what we'll no. do. No, I don't recognize this place. But anything's an improvement on where okay, we just so came you from. don't know where we are. First things first. We, we need supplies, shelter, and most of all, a healer. We might have escaped, but we still have these little monsters in our heads. Um, I'm gonna ask what happened. You might want to reconsider calling her a friend. Looks like she ran off without us. Yeah, we need each other. Together. And we both know what's at stake. Can't think of better company. All right, let's get moving then. One thing, just before we go. I wanted to thank you again for freeing me. It would have been all too easy for you to run right past my pod, but you didn't. I'll remember that. Lead the way. All right, let's lead the way then. So remember holding down alt highlights lootables and pick upables. So, it doesn't highlight everything, like these wooden barrels, for instance, but it'll highlight most everything. Ooh, a hat. Is that a nice looking hat? Hold on. <laughs> that is, you know what? We're wearing it. We're wearing it. That's fine. Um, let's see if Shadowheart can use this sword. No. Okay. So neither can I. Despite everything. Oh, it's a great sword. That's why. Okay. All right. <clears> hmm. <throat> I can't use crossbows either. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add all this to wares. Ah, eh, we'll wait to do that till we have a merchant inside. Let's see what else we have over here. So if you continue following this beach here, you'll eventually get to a waypoint that you can use for fast travel. We'll show you where that is as I loot everything. Fresh water. There must be a settlement somewhere nearby. Where's? Because I'm greedy. Books can be sold for a decent amount. Something the matter. And I accidentally clicked on Shadowheart. That's one thing. Keep doing. Love Anna. So we're looking for so I I never found the owner of this letter. So like I'm just gonna add it to players. We're just gonna sell it. Water does slow you down. It does count as like physical terrain. So that is a thing in the game. And while we're over here near this waypoint, I'm gonna go ahead and level both me and Shadowheart to level two. So I have not done that yet. So let's see what we got for level two. <clears throat> oh god, that hat looks so so hilarious. All right, subclasses: Circle the Land, Wild Shape, Natural Recovery. Replenish extended spells, expended spells lost while out of combat. 
Okay, so this is like if you want to be a caster. Yeah, this is like if you want to be a caster. Hmm, and this is if you want to be like in combat. This is like interesting. Okay, so in in tabletop lore, when I play Wumpus, he has basically a mushroom hat that he uses to heal himself, and this is like a mushroom-based subclass for druid. So you know what? Against my better judgment, because I have no idea how good. Circle of Spores is. I'm gonna go with Circle of Spores. Sure. And what do we want for spells? Uh, we gain one new spell. Let's go with... Fairy Fire gives us advantage on attack rolls against targets. Sure, that sounds useful. Alright, I'm taking the hat off. It's changing Wumpus's hairstyle and I don't like it. There we go. That's better. Now let's level up Shadowheart. Uh, she gains one new spell. We're gonna pick up Inflict Wounds. I think. Sounds useful. Command, Healing Word, Guiding Bolt, Shield of Faith, Inflict Wounds. Yeah, okay. All right, so the waypoint is right over here. Here are ancient sigil circles. So now we have that activated. Now this door can be lockpicked if you're a rogue. Uh, we are not, so we cannot open this door. We'll have to go in through the back way, which probably will get showed to you guys in episode, next episode. I think this one's gonna be long enough, especially since I like, you know, looting all the stuff. All of the things, all of the things. Just look at that, that's 28 gold. That's, that's... More of those wretched things. And there's some intellectual powers over there, but there's a couple more courses to lose. Alright, I think that's all the stuff on the beach. Let's head up the coast. Okay, so we've got a couple intellectual devourers we have to fight here. Thankfully, they Vicious all start filth. injured. Best keep some distance, or this will be a short fight. Yeah, I agree with you, Shadowheart. How about you move up a little bit, though? And hit one of them with your fire. Oh, nice! One shot. Cool. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and end here. Okay, he gets closer. Closer. Alright, we're gonna... Uh, and we're gonna miss. How often can I do this? What can I do in Wild Shake? Cat, Wolf, Badger, Spider. Okay. Man, hit him with that. Nice. Hit him spores. Ah, save. Darn it. <clears throat> Smash him with your mouth. You fight well. Perhaps our survival isn't Up such a distant range. prospect. One day I'll catch a break. Okay, let's see what's in this area. 
abducted New Berlin. Let's walk it. And there should be a treasure chest over this way. <coughs> Around. Yeah, there's another dead mine player over there. I don't know how I hit the hide button, but I did. Um Yeah, we have a lot of stuff. We have a lot of stuff. Alright, I think that's everything in this area. We're gonna go out through this direction because that leads us to another companion. So yeah, continue heading kind of north and then head north west ish. Ah, can I open this? Okay, I do have a thieves tool. Let's grab guidance. Uh just in case I roll on that one. Save. Oh, that's a three, but thankfully we have plus two and then our bad. Okay, fine. Barely got that open. Thirteen gold on the leather helmet. Ah, the leather helmet gives me plus one dex. Save and throw, so we'll put that on. Cool. Nope, there's some Belladonna over there. Yeah, I will show you guys the uh, crafting. Uh, Second. I don't know if we have enough to craft anything yet. Let's go ahead and grab the next companion up this hill. Should be to the north here. Yep, there he is. Okay, so this is my least favorite companion. I've got one of those game. brain things cornered. There, in the grass. You can kill it, can't you? Like you killed the others? I think Wumpus would say, kill it yourself, you look capable enough. I was hoping for a kind soul. Well, not to worry. Hmm, I have plus one to deck, so we'll try that. Again, we're gonna save scum here, cause I need like an eight or better. Hold on. Let's try that again. I need to get a faster computer for these poor loading screens. Do, 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 do. Let me check my timer. Oh yeah. All right, roll an eight, roll an eight. There we go, that's an eight. That's higher than an eight. I saw you on the ship, strutting about whilst I was trapped in that pot. What did you and those tentacled freaks do to me? Put the knife You'll away and maybe we can talk. I can- ah! Your mind twists. You're looking out of unfamiliar eyes, prowling dark, busy streets. You try to hold the memory, but it fades to the worm. The light. The fear. <laughs> what was that? What's going on? Uh, let's see. It's the mind player's worm connected us. Honestly, I have no idea. Put the knife away and I'll tell you everything. Uh, again, I'm gonna tell him to put the knife away. I'm not an everything. idiot. 
It has to be those tentacled monsters. Something they did. They took you too. I saw it during... I would not put the knife away. Stop threatening me. And to think... I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. <laughs> Apologies. Apology accepted. Might have done the same. Better hear more to offer than apologies. Glad to see we're all cut up now. Eh, glad to Indeed see we're all we cut are. up. Please, allow me to introduce myself. My name's Astarian. I was in Baldur's Gate when those beasts snatched me. Hmm, so Wumpus is not a Baldarian. He's kind of just a merchant who travels to Baldur's Gate to sell stuff in this context. So I'm going to go with number two. My, my. You've been busy. So, did you learn anything about these worms while wandering the ship? Uh, yeah, unfortunately, they'll turn them into mind players. Yeah. Turn us into... Be straightforward. <laughs> of course it'll turn me into a monster. What else did I expect? Although, it hasn't happened yet. If we can find an expert, someone that can control these things, there might still be time. Control it? We need to get rid of it. You should travel with me. Our odds are better together. I need to get moving, but you can shelter at my camp. And I'm going to go with we need to get rid well, of it. Well, yes, of course. But first things first. Uh, our odds you are better know, together. We'll go with that. I was ready to go this alone, but maybe sticking with the herd isn't such a bad idea and anyone that can crash a mind flare ship and walk away seems like a good person to know all right i accept lead on all right now we have a Starian. so let's level him up for two this game i think auto levels your companions so like if you're level four and a companion's level one they should in theory level up all the way to four so he gained cunning actions, which are really handy. And that's it. So that's a very easy level up. Uh, let's see if there's any loot in this area. Another step Scared forward. Boar. Do I have to speak with animal animal animal. Animal. Now. Let's go talk to the boar. Away! Away! You were all the same. Too many of my kind died because of your spears, but not me! Okay, bye. <laughs> I guess that boar doesn't want to talk. Not that much. Let's see, there's some false motor here. Let's head back towards the main road and start looking for the third. The, yeah, third and. Well, third and not final. There's one other, but you can only have four in your party at once. Okay, so we're gonna head over this way towards the there, north. A mind flare. Oh, look, there's a mind flare. And it's hurt. That thing's bound to be dangerous, even if injured. Let's be careful. Let's take a look around this area. See if there's any loot beyond the flare here. I'm not seeing anything. Let's go talk to the mind player. Approach the dying monster. This is the thing that abducted you. You could end its life here and now. If only so, fair you didn't warning, feel this mind flayer, if you fail the various compassion. checks associated with it, it can be your first party wipe in the game. I'm going to no, you should be furious, shouldn't yes, you? Yes, you feel hate. And you deserve to be punished for it. He should be whipped, made to bow before this creature in shame. It's possessing your mind, forcing you to love it. But then the feeling slips. The creature's mind seems to focus elsewhere. We're going to take... Uh, what's my intelligence? You know what? You know what? <laughs> we probably shouldn't do this, but I'm going to demonstrate to you guys uh, what goes on if you attempt to concentrate. Oh, I did succeed. Okay, good. 
Oh god, plus four guidance, nice. That's really Your mind's fuse, lusting for something that is gone. But then its grip claws back with a vengeance, a vice locking your mind into obedience. It needs sustenance to survive, and with your very body, you can provide. Uh, yeah, we're gonna, gonna resist. I should have Nope, we're fine. Twelve is much higher than five. The monster lies exhausted, defeated. Its eyes, wet orange pearls, radiate malice. And we're gonna close those eyes forever. Although with my eight strength, I doubt we could have actually done that. We probably would have had I have Shadow Heart crush its skull. Death is too good for it. Alright, so Asterion is very good at throwing things and poisons are useful for him and he's a thief so we're gonna give him some items uh is that all my grenades and the like yes i do believe so so the reason why i gave him the rapier is he's at plus five four through seven damage currently with his melee weapon he's now at four through eleven so it just does more damage Um, and I don't think I've got any better weapons for him. Increase the number of rows here. Rearrange his abilities. Put all of his ranged options over here. His melee actions kind of here. Yeah, we'll just clump them up like that. There we go. Asterion doesn't gain a lot of stuff, so I kind of give him a lot of throwables and usables to supplement his abilities. Alright, that's enough inventory management for now. Let's Breathe continue going move. northwards. We should find the next companion eventually by heading north. There's a couple dead goblins over here. Dead goblins over there. Worth checking for supplies, maybe. Supplies indeed, and a bow. Uh, let's give that bow to Asterion. Oh, he already has a bow. Okay, can this I use bows? Interesting. No, I can't use bows. Okay. Never wanted the easy path. And here's the next companion. Click on the ancient sigil. Approach the sigil on the stone. You will need Magic some arcana from it to be able to do this easily. If you don't have it, don't stress. There's other ways it of seeding this. Dangerous. So we're going to touch the sigil. A hand? Anyone? Okay, so, let's see. Who are you? Slap the hand, grab the hand and pull. Let flow some words of prayer to soothe the sigil's magic. Uh, we're going to slap the hand. We're going to give him a high five. Perhaps I should have clarified. Hmm? A helping hand. <laughs> have Anyone? A high five. Anyone? All right, now we're going to do the Druid Wisdom check. So the other way of doing this is either an Arcana check or a Strength check. If you're not a Druid or a Wizard or oh, that might no, we're fine. Okay. Yeah, we do beat that by one. You don't have to beat it by anything. You just have to match it. So. Whatever you're doing is working wonders. Now a quick little pull should do the trick. All right, and this makes this strength check easier, which is good because Pumpus does not have strength. I'm a tiny little gnome after all. And this is Gale, who's a really good companion. I like him a lot. He's got a bit of a weird quirk with him, but oh. you'll see that later. Hello. I'm Gale of Waterdeep. Apologies. I'm usually better at this. Uh. No need a to bit apologize, shocked, or you're but right. A friend 
It's a relief and a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Say, but I know you, don't I? In a manner of speaking. You were on the Norse Lloyd as well. Hmm. I was, yes. And I can only assume you too were on the receiving end of a rather unwelcome insertion in the ocular region. Couldn't have phrased it more repeatedly. No, you sugarcoating it, is there? The insertee we speak of, this parasite, are you aware that after a period of excruciating gestation, it will turn us into mind flayers? It's a process known as ceramorphosis, and let me assure you, it is to be avoided. You don't happen to be a cleric by any chance, do you? A doctor? Surgeon? Uncannily adroit with a knitting needle? You seem to know enough about our condition to realize it's beyond most clerics' skills. Most, no doubt. But I find myself hoping to be in the presence of the few. You don't happen to be one of them. Um, Druid, I can tend to basic wounds and ailments, but alien parasites, I'm afraid As not. we've established, few enough can. It's not exactly a common affliction. We're most certainly going to need a healer, and soon too. How about we lend each other a helping hand once more and look for a healer together? Yeah, that sounds great. Most excellent. A parasite shared is a parasite halved. Or something to that effect. <laughs> oh, but before you think you're about to embark on a journey with most ill-mannered a man, thank you. See, this is why I like Gale. He's saying it's thank an you. act of foresighted He's kindness, courteous. I assure you. I have a feeling ample opportunities will present themselves for me to return the favor. All right, so there's Gale. And he levels up to two, so let's go ahead and get that done. So, wizards can pick a different casting trait. Evocation is really good if you want to do damage. Because it allows your allies to automatically succeed against saving throws against evocation spells. And a lot of evocation spells are AoEs, so this is very good. I honestly keep Gale in my other playthrough as an evocationist. I don't really see a need to change that. I mean, what's Illusionist give? Yeah, two spells, two spells, Abjuration. Huh, Abjuration is kind of interesting. Mm, nah, we're going to stick to evocation. We're going to make this nice and simple. What two spells do we want him to learn? Well, knowing that his evocation spells are less effective against allies, we're going to grab burning hands, possibly. Uh, magic missile is just a good staple because it always hits. So we're definitely going to grab magic missile. And I think I want something defensive, to be honest. So I think we're going to grab shield because it can be used to block ranged attacks prepared spells we're gonna get rid of sleep for magic missile and get rid of grease for shield and yeah i think that'll give him a pretty decent array of spells yeah now mage armor is a spell you should oh, cast on gale dungeon. every long round oh, armor class and more armor class on your wizard is always very useful. I'm gonna go ahead and rearrange these so I know where cantrips are. And yeah, let's do that. Then defensive first level spells. Oh no, that's a cantrip. Hmm. I got another row for cantrips. There we go. There we go. Yeah, we'll do something like that. He's going to end up with lots of spells. I have a lot on my mind. Right, let's keep going. We're going to head well, north it. some more, I think. Yeah, we're going to head north some more. It's broken. Must have been here a while. Not much use anymore. I think I'm going the right way for finding the final companion. Ah, yes, there it is. 
And here's Lazelle. Zoru was right. Yellow as a toad, and twice as ugly. The thing's dangerous. Leave it for the goblins to kill. And if it escapes, how will you... Oh, a guest. Your skull pounds in response to the prisoner's white-hot stare. Her lips don't move, yet you hear her voice. Get rid of them. We're gonna try a deception check. We want these guys to leave Lazelle alone because I don't have a good roll on this. We're gonna save. We need to roll a nine or better. Okay, there we go. He's right. Let's go. We need to check out that blast. You didn't hear it. Shook our camp good, so we came for a look. Yeah, let's try a persuasion check. We only need like a four. Oh yeah, we knocked that out of the park. Northwest. Look for Nettie. Whatever your wound, she can mend it. And be careful. There are goblin traps everywhere. I mess her. Cool. Come. Thank you. Enough gawking. Get me down. Never. Okay, well then maybe I'll just leave you there if you're not going to say please. Jeez. Um, Observe and listen. You'll down. hear goblins before you see them. As you say. Where's... Yeah. All right. I missed. How did I miss? Try that again. There we go. The tadpole hasn't yet scrambled all your senses. Auspicious. But the longer we wait, the more it consumes. My people possess the cure for this infection. I must find a crash. You will join me. Careful. She obviously sees your kindness as weakness. Don't let her take advantage. You may as well suggest a wyvern bow to worms. The cure I offer will suffice as thanks. Hi. All right. You are full up. Dismiss your weakest warrior. Very well, but heed my words. The Horned Ones mentioned a camp. One there, this Zoru, has seen Githyanki. A crash must be near. I must interrogate this Zoru. Our very lives depend on it. Okay. I will be at your camp. Do not keep me waiting. I will do what I want. All right, there is four out of five of the early game companions grabbed. The fifth one is a little trickier, and it's been about half an hour, so we're going to go ahead and end the episode here for today. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like and a subscribe, and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.